and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Wednesday, November the 24th of 2021, and I am here with Vlogtober. Or not Vlogtober, <laughs> Vlogmas. It's not technically Vlogmas just yet. It is still November, so we're not doing daily vlogging yet, but this is the start of the holiday vlogging of 2021. So you guys will see daily vlogs here and there during the rest of November. You'll see a Thanksgiving Black Friday vlog. You're seeing this vlog today, but then come December 1st through like December 27th, you're gonna see day in the life vlogs pretty much every day in December. So that's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. I love Vlogmas. It is one of my favorite times of the year and I'm just super pumped. So it is the day before Thanksgiving, and for the last three years, we've literally been doing this. So it's kind of turned into our tradition. We are going to head into Giacomo's, which is a local restaurant. They have this really good soup today. It's called Chicken Bowtie. It's amazing. So we're going to go in there and get that. I'm trying to hurry because they might sell out if we don't hurry up. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to head into here, get some lunch. It's going to be awesome, and I'll show you guys when I get when I get to the table. Heck, if I knew Nick was blind, I'd have got a bigger sandwich. All right, so here is the soup. If I can get it open, vlogging's hard with one hand. It is the chicken bow tie soup, and it is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Then we got, it just comes with some bread, and then we also got sandwich. So it's like a pick two combo, kind of like Panera is, like you get a soup and a sandwich. So I got the Italian sandwich. I'll show that to you guys when it comes out. I'm like so excited. All right, and then I also got the Italian sub, which has Italian dressing, lettuce, salami, tomato, pepperoni, all the things. So this looks awesome. All right, guys, done with lunch. That was absolutely amazing. That was so good. Really, we should come more often, but it's kind of turned into our pre-day before Thanksgiving tradition. So anyway, that was delicious. We are now, I think we're going to head to the mall for a little bit, just kind of look around. Mostly everybody's already doing their Black Friday sales, so I thought we'd just go ahead and kill some time and look around. Um, we're going to go to Val's. My dad has never been to Val's, so we're going to go to Val's today. And he can check it out and kind of see. Um, I love Val's so much. If you guys haven't been watching my vlogs, it's a store in the mall. It's like a discount store. Like they buy huge lots of things and they resell them. So I've been getting some really good deals at Val's lately. So we're going to check that out. And probably run to JC Penning too because um, they have some stuff going on, I think, and I want to check it out. So, yeah, it's kind of what's up, and I will film when we get to the mall. Okay, guys, so we're at the mall now. It just got done at Val's. Really wasn't anything today, but I was literally just here like two days ago, so that's probably why um, I got pretty much what I wanted a couple days ago. But I have found some really, really good deals in there. Like the other day, I found a laminator. I had just bought a laminator for the Etsy shop and I had spent like 20 something dollars. And then I came to Val's and she literally had the same thing for five bucks. So that pained me a little bit, but I'm not gonna lie. I picked up it, I picked it up as a backup because for $5, you cannot beat that. So definitely it's one of those stores you just want to keep checking back, you know, as much as possible and see what new stuff they put out, which is great. Now, I don't know where, where exactly we're going. I think we're going to run to the shoe store because my dad needs some shoes and going to run to JCPenney and maybe we'll see what we can find there and maybe American Eagle, but I'm not liking their sale. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping on actual Black Friday, they do a sale, a better sale. So I don't know. We'll see, but yeah, it's kind of what's up. So my dad got these shoes at Shoe Carnival and he just decided to walk off and leave me to go to the checkout for them. Why did you do that? good builds character i guess we want to you're gonna do these massage chairs let's give it a whirl okay i can use a relaxation massage this is painful why did you want to do this it's like stabbing my back guess what more would you expect from a mall massage right so Merry Christmas to me. My parents got me this for Christmas. We actually had a reward and it was only like 20 bucks, which is awesome. It's this X5 smartwatch. I did have a fitness watch, um, but honestly, I don't know. I think I lost the charger. And so I was just like, well, this is a really good deal. So let's go ahead and get a new one. It actually does a lot on it. It is water resistant, which is huge. It does your heart rate. I believe your blood pressure or blood oxygen or something it does a sleep tracker calorie tracker when you're working out it shows the weather which is awesome so honestly that's for that price i thought it was a really good deal and it will help me jump start my fitness in 2022 because lord knows i need to jump start my fitness so there we go all right guys 
it is like later, it's like 2.30 I think, and we are heading to Walmart. I'm doing a collab video today with Saving with Christina. We're doing like a little challenge to see who can get the best Walmart haul, so I'm super excited. In true competition mode, I decided to come to the Walmart in the next town over because there's a $10 moneymaker. So I was like, okay, for a $10 moneymaker, I'll go to the, the bid together Walmart because I'm not gonna pass that up. So I'm here at the Walmart in Heath today. So going in here, doing some couponing, filming, and all the things. So that's what's up. It's Black Friday week, guys. This is the week for couponers that you just coupon everywhere. And that is how I've been this, that's how I'm gonna be this week. I'm so excited. Walmart today, Rite Aid tomorrow, probably even CVS. Like, I'm just absolutely loving the Black Friday couponing. Like, when it's Black Friday week, I just go for it. I go couponing wherever there are deals to be had. So, made a little trip to a different Walmart, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go get the deals. The only annoying thing about going to different stores than you're used to shopping at is that you don't know where things are at. And that's totally the case right now. Like I'm just walking around kind of aimlessly looking for things, so fun. So rumor has it that there is Little Debbie Christmas tree ice cream and I don't see it, but I've heard a lot of people mention it. And I was talking to my friend about it and she was at this Walmart and said she saw it. So. I don't know, either they're out of it or I'm looking in the wrong spot. I don't really know, but yes, lots of fun. Since I couldn't find the ice cream, I'm at least gonna get the Little Debbie Christmas trees. These are delicious. We got a lot of stuff here, guys. This is couponing, groceries, things for Thanksgiving, all that. And we're not even done. We're not even done here. And then we still have to run to Kroger for a couple of things, so. It's officially the holidays. All right, so all done at Kroger now. I'm super excited. I found the Sara Lee Artisano Rolls, finally. I've been looking for these for a while and never been able to find them, but here we got them. So these are free after Fetch Rewards. It's like the last day for the rebate too, so I'm really excited. But anyways, we don't have nearly as much at Kroger. We just had to finish up with some things. And so yeah, we're done. I'm gonna check out and head on home. All right, guys, here is the Christmas tree. It turned out really good this year, actually. This is like the best I think it's ever looked. We ended up, my dad and I strung the lights and this is like really good. My mom even said like, this is the best I think it's ever looked. So it turned out really good this year. Love it. Um, and it does like special ornaments from the past. Like I remember making this in Sunday school when I was like four, um, this sugar bear ornament, which is like hanging on its like last, last round here. It's to the point where you can hardly hear it, but it's still going, so we keep using it. This Blue's Clues ornament I got several years, well, when I was a little kid, so it's been like, as long as I can remember, I've had that, so that's definitely a special one. My Ohio Valley Couponer ornament from Designer Gin, I love that so much. Um, an Ohio State ornament, and I actually got my dad a Bob Ross ornament this year, um, and I gave it to him early, because I was like, well, you might as well use it early. So there is the awesome Christmas tree. All right, so here is also some more decorations. This is um, like mantle over a fireplace kind of deal. My mom did this. Um, she's really good at decorating, actually. This looks really, really good. I started to decorate my office and workspace, so I'll probably try to enlist her help on that because if it's up to me, I have like, I just don't have the very best decorational skills. Is that even a thing? But anyways, yeah, there is that. All right, guys, it is 8.42 p.m. It's been a hot minute since I've updated. Actually, that's kind of a lie because I just showed you guys the Christmas things like 10 minutes ago. So it's not been a hot minute, but it's been a little bit since I've sat down and chatted with y'all. So, yes, it has been such a busy, busy day. The last time I filmed kind of when I was out and about was at Kroger. Um, went to Walmart and Kroger and I am bummed. I'm really bummed because... I had done a deal at Walmart. This is the reason I went to the Walmart in Heath today because the Veggie Craft Pasta deal was like supposed to be a 10 something moneymaker. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, to make $10, that's definitely worth driving to this Walmart for. It's about 30 something minutes away. Um, and it was worth it. I thought, oh my gosh, this was worth it, especially with the whole um, friendly competition thing with Saving with Christina. I thought, well, that would be a really good moneymaker to help, um, you know, give me a chance at winning the contest kind of deal. So, yeah. Well, I get out of Walmart and, you know, I'm going through, submit my rebates, all that. And Fetch Rewards 
comes back and only gives me credit for one of the veggie craft and i was like what on earth like wh why why are they doing that so i click on the offer and it said valid for five redemptions 95 percent of the time when it says that you can do five of them in the same transaction that's literally how it is with every other app um, check out for the one I bought a swag box. Like you don't have to split it up and do five transactions. If it's a limit of five, you can do five in one transaction. Well, apparently fetch just wants to be annoying because they insist you have to do it in five separate transactions. So because of that, I only got the dollar 50 once and not five times, which made my math all out of whack. It was like $5 and some change for the haul. And I did lose the competition because of that. So I will be wearing an ugly sweater. I don't know if I told you guys, me and Saving with Christina had this little contest. Whoever had the best haul um, won. And if you didn't, you have to wear an ugly sweater to your next Walmart haul. So next Friday, I will be wearing a super ugly sweater in store at Walmart in front of everybody. Yeah. So I'm going to have to find an ugly sweater. Do any of you guys have any, um, ever know? Like, where where can I find an ugly sweater? Honestly, I don't even know where to look. I mean, Goodwill. Maybe they'd have some ugly sweaters at Goodwill. I don't know. Um, I don't want to spend a lot on it, obviously. So that might be my best bet is to head up to Goodwill, find some super ugly sweater, and go for it. Yeah. Awkward. But anyways, it's all good. It was all in good fun. So yeah, and that was just super annoying. And then like two of my Abata rebates didn't even work. Like the Snickers rebate didn't work even though it was literally there listed in the print that it worked on the Snickers 1.86 ounce. So I'm going to have to put a ticket in for that. And the Veggie Craft Pasta, I only got credit for two of them and it wouldn't even accept the Cauliflower Elbows, which is literally the thing pictured on I bought it. Like that's the thing pictured in the rebate and it wouldn't accept it. So it's like, <sighs> today was not my couponing day. We all have those. We all have those. Unfortunately, mine was during a little competition with another YouTuber, a friendly competition to see you could have the best haul. So it kind of sucks that my bad day was today, but you know what? It's all good. And it just was kind of valuable to show you guys that, hey, things sometimes go wrong for couponers and we just got to roll with the punches and just work with it. And that's what I did today. So with that being said, I have been working on Ibotta or not Ibotta. We are not working on Ibotta. I've been working on Black Friday for tomorrow. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, I've not told you guys a whole lot about my Black Friday shopping plans. Um, for sure, I'm going to Rite Aid. For sure. And you might be like, Nick, you're going to the drugstore? Since when? And you're 100% right. I don't typically do drugstore couponing too much um, because I just feel like a lot of it's repetitive and sometimes there's not great deals. Like with Rite Aid, I feel like one week it'll be on fire, the next week it won't be. And then you only have a few weeks to roll your um, points or whatever. And it just ends up being a hot mess. And so I don't particularly do it um, all year long. I just don't. But at the holidays, I absolutely adore Rite Aid especially. This year, Black Friday, I'm not going to lie. This year, Black Friday is the saddest I've ever seen it couponing at the drugstores. Like, if you haven't been couponing um, for a while, you're probably used to this. But my OG couponers out there, you guys know, like 2014, 2015, 2016 even, Rite Aid and CVS, like, we would be, people would be standing outside waiting to get in we would be getting page like a literally a whole page of freebie items like free after points free after extra bucks it was amazing and it's kind of a bummer now that it's not that fun it used to be so much fun so much fun um it's not that exciting anymore you know Rite Aid has four freebies and um CVS has even less than that CVS has like three no they have four freebies. Rite Aid has five. Okay, that's right. Five freebies at Rite Aid, four at CVS. I don't even know about Walgreens. I couldn't even find an ad for Walgreens, so I don't know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, we still make it work. We still roll with it, and that's kind of what I'm going to do. With Rite Aid especially, they're doing this really good coupon. Earn $15 in bonus cash when you spend 50 So I'm totally going to do that. I'm going to go on to Rite Aid tomorrow and do that deal and I came up with a really good scenario, and I'll show you guys a haul as well. But I'm just buying a bunch of things to get to $50. I'm going to do all the freebie offers. 
I'm going to do the Clorox wipes, which are $3.99, get back $2 bonus cash. And I actually have $26 in bonus cash to start with because I went in earlier this week and did the gift card promos, which is awesome. I got the Kohl's gift cards. I got $100 with the Kohl's gift cards and I got back $16 in bonus cash. That was great because I'm going to give my mom a Kohl's gift card for her birthday. I'm going to give my cousin Katie a Kohl's gift card for her birthday. And then the $25 I will go and use during Black Friday. So that was a win-win. Also, I did the Subway gift card deal. If you spend $25 on Subway gift cards, you get $5 back. And I just doubled that. So I spent $50 and got $10. And we eat at Subway all the time. Like, we go to Subway quite a bit. I go to Subway on my own. My family sometimes, if we're in a pinch and we need a quick dinner, we'll go to Subway. So why not take advantage and get the points to go do Black Friday deals and have them and be rewarded for it instead of just swiping my credit card or my debit card or whatever when we go to Subway. So that was awesome. And I'm going to have some deals like that tomorrow as well. Like there is a deal on Wendy's and Arby's. I'm not sure which I'll do, but it's spend 25, get $5 back. So I'll definitely take advantage of that and get even more bonus cash. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to hit up Rite Aid. So definitely wonder Rite Aid. I'm going to be doing the freebie items, the Clorox wipes, the planners, um, peanut gift sets. I do those every year. I give those out as presents. And that's a phenomenal price. Even if you're not doing a present, even if you just want the peanuts, that's amazing. I'm going to do the Rite Aid power toothbrushes because we use power toothbrushes all the time. So why not get a deal? And then I'm going to get some deodorant that Robbie, Robbie Pitzel over here on YouTube. Definitely, if you're a Rite Aid shopper, check him out. He had mentioned this double dip on Suave Twin Pack deodorant. So I'm going to take advantage of that. So in the end, everything tomorrow at Rite Aid should be like under $5 and after the points back and everything, which is amazing. CVS, I'm probably going to go. Probably. I have a gift card for CVS from Flues, which was great. So I went ahead and got a $10 gift card. Um, so that'll be nice. And then um, I have a $5 extra buck, I think from the pharmacy, because I do, for insurance reasons, I had to switch to CVS a while ago, and I just am too lazy to switch to anywhere else now that I can. So I get these $5 extra bucks from time to time for prescription, or um, just for having my prescriptions there. So I have technically 15 bucks to start tomorrow at CVS. So I'm thinking about doing a couple of things. There's some granite cleaner thing that's supposed to be a really good moneymaker. Um, I did get the $2 coupon for that. I have one, but... I don't know if it ends tonight or if it ends later in the week because somebody posted a picture on iHeartCVS of the green and gold tag saying it runs clear through Saturday. And so if so, I'll just do it tomorrow. But if it ends today, the ad actually says it ends today. So I'm not sure which one to trust. Um, but if it's still going tomorrow, I'm going to do the green and gold, the CVS Tylenol that's free, the baby wipes that are free, and the liners that are free, plus the toothpaste that's free. $14.66, use my $5 extra care buck and my $10 flues card, pay nothing and get back $16.66 in ECBs. Roll that onto the Conair curling iron. I do that every time CBS does it because my mom uses those regularly, so that's good. I'm gonna get a thing of Charmin that's got a digital coupon and some General Mills Lucky Charms because I've been craving Lucky Charms, so we don't have any. So I'm gonna do that. And then I should end up with a $5 ECB and we'll just see what happens from there. I mean, I don't really know exactly what all I'll do at CBS, but I'm really excited. You know, Black Friday is nothing like it used to be. It really isn't, um, but it's still fun and it's tradition if nothing else. And I'm still, I mean, I'm still excited. I still am especially, especially Rite Aid, like especially Rite Aid. I'm pumped. This $15 extra points when you spend 50 is huge. Like that. That's awesome. And even if you're not really into Rite Aid super heavily, you know, they have buy one, get two free on, you know, chocolates and candles and like cards, Christmas cards. They have some amazing deals. Amazing. The popcorn tins are two for seven. That's really good. They got some cereal. Buy one, get two free. I will definitely be going back to Rite Aid and I'm going to end up with like $58 in bonus cash tomorrow. So I'm going to have so many um, bonus cash to go back on Black Friday. I will be at Rite Aid this week, like the rest of this week. It's going to be epic. I cannot wait. I love me some Rite Aid. I feel like if I did do a drugstore, it probably would be Rite Aid because I just really like Rite Aid. I always have. It's one of the first drugstores I really shopped at and it just has always been an awesome place. So Rite Aid's a lot of fun, but... Anyway, I mean, that's kind of all I got to say. I do hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas today. This isn't technically Vlogmas, but we're, we're getting there. We're starting officially. If you guys didn't know, Vlogmas will start Wednesday. So next Wednesday, a week from today, you're going to see a vlog at 8 p.m. Eastern every single day um, at 8 p.m. Eastern. So the couponing videos will just remain as, as is. You know, that'll keep um, going up. 
I'm really sorry that the videos this week have gone up so much later. They've been going up at like 5 p.m. That's not what I want to do at all. This week has just been all weird because of the holidays. But next week, when we get back to normal, you'll be seeing your videos mm, late morning, very early afternoon. Um, we're going to get back to that because that's what I like to do. And I know that's what most of you guys prefer as well. So, yeah. But it's just been all crazy because of the holidays. So, we'll have those. And then we'll have the vlog at night. And that's just a lot of fun. I love Vlogmas. I know vlogs ain't everybody's thing. Um, but I, I love them. They're fun. They're fun to make. And I love the memories. I go back and watch Vlogmas from years past all the time. I really do. I love to go back and see, like, what we did and things like that. It's just, I love the record. I love the video kind of like a video diary. If any of you are Good Luck Charlie viewers, that video diary, gotta love Good Luck Charlie. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's kind of, um, it's kind of what I like to do. It's a lot of fun. And I know some of you guys like to really see behind the scenes. I do. I mean, for couponers or budgeters or planners or abandoned retailers, even people who film those abandoned videos, it's cool to see behind the scenes and stuff like that. So that's why I do these. And it's not everybody's thing, but it's my thing. So I'm going to keep doing them. <laughs> So, yes, for tonight, I really don't have that much left to do. I do need to film a video and schedule it out for Friday morning. So, I need to do that tonight or tomorrow at some point for OBC Designs. I'm having an enormous, enormous, enormous Black Friday sale. Huge, like crazy door buster deals. Even though there's not a door to bust because it's online, but we're having crazy sales. Like the best prices ever in my shop. And I cannot wait. I know so many of you guys are going to be so excited for the deals, um, and I, I truly cannot wait. So, sneak peek, um, the wallets are going to be, they're regularly $25. We got them on sale for $18. Huge savings. The hoodies that are regularly $40 to $42, all sizes. So, there's typically an upcharge for the bigger size, but because it's the spirit of Black Friday, we're making all of them $30. Same with t-shirts, regularly $20 to $22, but Black Friday Doorbuster, $15. Bucks. Amazing. We are having the um, huge 8.5 by 11 size list, regularly $10, bucks, on sale for 6 And we're having the mini size list. Those are going to be on sale, regularly 7 bucks. We got them on sale for $4. And also the tote bags, regularly 15 are on sale for 10 so so many doorbuster deals at ovc designs i'm so excited that'll launch friday morning and run clear through cyber monday you know we got small business saturday and whatever day sunday is we got you guys covered for the holiday weekend and so i'm so excited and it'll create a lot of orders but i'm here for it i am here for it totally and i cannot wait so yes huge sale in the shops and you film that promo video um, to get people excited and to get people to know that this is going down. Like, there's going to be an enormous sale. Um, and, yeah, I mean, no coupons even needed. It's just huge markdowns, and I'm so excited for that sale. It's going to be awesome. But, yeah, that's kind of it. I will be sure to vlog tomorrow and Black Friday. It'll be that combined joint vlog that will go up Saturday morning. I truly cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. And I hope you guys are ready for Vlogmas because I sure am. So, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. To wish us